we're back. I can't believe it. Are we back, Tobin? Are we really back? I don't know, maybe. Okay, now my nose is gonna itch. So again, part of my uh, step two in getting YouTube videos back into my life. So we did the grocery haul, good job. Now I'm going to work on doing a large family meals of the week with a whole lot of what's for dinner. Of course, large family style. So you don't just get dinners, but you're gonna see some snacks. And what else do we do? <laughs> Lunches and breakfasts and smoothies and things. And just like everything, the only way I can start doing this again is to just start. So Tobin was three weeks on Saturday. Today is Tuesday, thought I was gonna film yesterday, sorry. Your requirement is to do a little YouTube therapy with me and then I'll start showing you stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Was gonna start doing videos yesterday, never got around to it and today I feel like I can start talking a little bit to you and the camera. So here we go. Lunchtime here, the kids got a bunch of school done this morning. Now we have someone special coming over here after lunchtime. So they are outside picking up and I'm gonna throw some lunch things together. I'm relying heavily on leftovers. Yeah, don't really know. What's in my refrigerators? I don't know. I know there's carrots in there. I know there's grapes. I know there's strawberries. I know there's apples. Lots of fruits and things. Not sure if we have some chicken left over from dinner last night. Just don't know. So this is uh, me winging it. I also have some chicken defrosting for dinner tonight. My plan for dinner tonight is I'm gonna do, I have a low carb chicken Gordon Bleu recipe that makes two nine by 13 pans. I will have that linked below for you. Gonna show you, we're going to make that together tonight. But again, lunch, we have stuff. We're winging it, we're putting it together. I'm watching one of my goats scratch their back on the fence always that same spot. Why Why that fence post when there's 50? Anyway, oh, and Tobin. Let's have a little Tobin check-in. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, uh-huh. So he just nursed for quite a while, and I changed him, and I put him in the wrap. We're gonna go sit in this sunshine after we get lunch rolling. And actually, the only one still doing, Amelia's finishing up one lesson right now, but okay. That's all my updates, so let's go. And then what's going on in the kitchen, so I should have showed you before we move it. We had a massive stack of like Progresso soups and you know, just different soups out of a can here. Also some various tomato sauces ended up here. Oh, and some pumpkin, canned pumpkin. So I just had Zion take all that back down to the pantry room for me. We have uh, one little pack of teenager ramen, as I call it, left and then two bananas, really all these bananas now are mm -hmm, baking. Definitely need to do some more baking with the bananas. Gonna clean this counter off. And yes, again, fi finding life rhythms. This video is gonna be all about gently finding routines again, yay. And thank you to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's brand new Large Family Meals of the Week video. You can click the first link in the description below and get the ButcherBox Essentials Bundle where you will get chicken breast, pork chops, and ground beef, see even Tobin is excited, free in your first box. Click the first link in the description below to get your ButcherBox today. I know this, this refrigerator majorly, majorly needs cleaned out. But uh, yesterday I made three dozen more of those Trimtastic cupcakes. That's a Trim Healthy Mama recipe. So for breakfast this morning, everybody had one of those and a Greek yogurt and some grapes, which I noticed the grapes ended up in the door. See, I did label things, uh, but our labels have gotten, it gets, gets a little off from time to time. So that's where I'm like, I know we need, let's just set these grapes out. I know this needs some freshening up, but we have grapes. Amelia, will you eat your um, leftover sandwich from yesterday with some fruit? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, okay, good. <laughs> she was just looking at me. Anyway, I will probably, we'll do some apple slices. And then some days, you know, lunch can be a hodgepodge. This looks like a bag of fruit that needs to go in my chicken bowl. 
sometimes we're still doing school into the afternoon sometimes i make snack trays look at that another day we'll clean that oh amelia hold on honey these grape these are uh, not grapes pears made eaten anyway many times i just throw stuff out on the counter or we do like big snack trays yesterday something different that i did we are getting so many more duck eggs than i was expecting i thought we'd only get like i don't know what was i thinking a couple eggs a month per duck instead the breed of ducks we have they're like keeping up with my chicken eggs so i was reading about the pecan ducks yesterday and they lay like 200 eggs a year and we have 10 to 12 females so we're getting a lot of duck eggs. So when I made the Trimtastic um, cake and cupcakes yesterday, I used my duck eggs instead of my chicken eggs. But look, I mean, I'm just not used to duck eggs. This is like new for me. So there's the size of a duck egg. And hold on, I'll grab a chicken egg, see if we can compare. So there you go, chicken egg, duck egg. Now this is kind of a medium sized chicken egg. Depends on the age of the chicken, how long they've been laying. We'll get smaller eggs and of course much larger eggs. But man, duck egg world, right? So, so we are fulfilling our destiny with duck eggs, that's for sure. So then I'll tell you about the healthy candy I've been eating that's become a problem for me. Actually, I just made this yesterday, but this is the last piece today, but I've shared it with lots of people. So again, Stream Healthy Mama ladies, and you can probably Google for variations of this recipe, but they have a recipe called Payoff Day Candies. Very similar to like a payday candy bar, only there's no sugar in it. And it's amazing. So I times four the recipe. Mm -hmm. And then you're supposed to make it like in nice little round candies. I did a whole sheet pan of it. Put it in the refrigerator. And then I just cut it in squares. Again, everybody has loved it. So while I'm making their lunch, I'm finishing the last few pieces. It's fantastic. And I made it yesterday while even holding Tobin in one arm. So as a multitasking mama, you can still make these. And hey, it's better than taking out a pint of Ben and Jerry's. That's my joke. I just got done making your sandwiches for lunch. I'm gonna cut up some pears too, okay? You guys having a nice time? Did you have any apples though? I do. Do you want green apples and pears? No, I just want green apples and little cheese sticks. Cheese sticks, okay. You are super fun and muddy. Love it. I need you to go out to the back deck. With, uh, with, go tell Gabriel and Liam and Benjamin lunch on the back deck. Okay, so real simple, turkey and some spicy cheese sandwiches. I was just working on using up some hamburger buns that we had left. So that's Gabriel's and Liam's and Daniel's and Benjamin. They just look like a bunch of country boys right now. And I'm gonna chop some, maybe just one of each green apple and a pear. We can always come back in for more. And Daniel already requested a cheese stick. He didn't want cheese on his sandwich though, but get him a cheese stick out and I'll see how this looks with the apple and the pear and we'll get another one on there. And yes, I'm just going to chop it on my counter. Believe me, it will not hurt my counter. <laughs> So yes, I've been thinking through, being gentle on myself, working on routines. We've got decent bedtimes back in place and we've been getting back in our school routine. Now I've got to start adding in a gentle work routine. Boy, those pears are perfect. I will probably do one more pear and then eat some of it myself. And gentle to me many times means it takes several days or even weeks of trying to implement little changes. And as I say, routines, not so much schedules, but routines and uh, get things going how they should be. It takes time to get to know the new baby. It takes time for the baby to get to know us. Here is our veggies. So there you go. We got, I'll show you, maybe upside down, lunch for four boys and 
uh, how things work here. They all got a popsicle while they waited. So there you go, backwards lunch. And Tobin, still doing what he does. Snuggle, snuggle. And then also during pregnancy, I don't think I've gotten my mouth open about this, but I have really enjoyed these drinks. I mean, it's, you know, better than a Diet Coke, right? So, you know, I've chugged water with my fun kidney adventures. And then, of course, drink a cup of coffee if I can get that down in the morning. Um, and then this is like my treat drink and it's good. They have all the different flavors. So yeah, sometimes I'll have one or two a day and that's something I've enjoyed. This was recent Sharp Shopper deal. I think I showed this in my first postpartum grocery haul, but these uh, triple zero yogurts were three for a dollar at Sharp Shopper. They're gonna be gone before we even get to their date. So exciting things in life, right? Again, maybe another day we'll clean them out. Not today, the sun is shining. Well, it's evening now and my defrosted chicken plans did not work out. It is a uh, time to get something going for dinner and instead I switched plans. We still had a pack of hamburgers ready to be grilled and a pack of hot dogs. We're actually doing the hot dogs in the stove. Travis grew in the hamburgers. I am quickly chopping up some potatoes that I'm going to roll in some oil, some parsley, oregano, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper and I'm going to get those roasting in the oven and that instead is what we're having for dinner tonight plus putting a bunch of fruit on the table. pounds of potatoes outgrew my bowl so get a different one throw some stuff on the floor of course so no real uh directions with this other than shaking in oregano shaking in parsley i will also just sprinkle some on the top once i get my potatoes covered here actually did this last night with our dinner too just had a, a different dinner in mind tonight but we can adapt And I'm gonna put these potatoes in at about 450 for about 25 minutes or so. And then I'll just switch them over to the broil button for a few minutes. And that should be that. There's the potatoes. Okay, so for breakfast this morning, I did our big thing of oatmeal, which will be for this morning, and maybe we'll have a little bit left for tomorrow. And then we've got some apples and toast and applesauce, and that is breakfast. Good morning, another day and more oatmeal. Look at this, aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. So this is the oatmeal that was left from yesterday. So now on day two of the super mega Stewart size oatmeal, we just reheat it in the microwave. Some kids like it with the applesauce on top. I'm also doing some toast and we have one bag of grapes left. I hope to do a big grocery shopping haul tomorrow and also give a tour like before and after of the fridges and freezers. I don't know that that'll be this video, but, but it's a coming. So here we go. Now I'm gonna get reheating. We have baby Tobin in the room making coffee.
Good morning, baby head. So yesterday, yesterday when I didn't get any footage of any food. Okay, hold on, coffee, yes. Okay, yesterday I had appointments out in the afternoon. Naomi and Tobin were with me. And yes, one little, we always find bananas that need put in a bag. We'll do that in a minute. Anyway, we had lunch out. We got those protein power bowls at Taco Bell. Had some appointments and then ended up eating dinner also while we were out. So I just messaged Travis and, uh, cause you know, hashtag real life, this is how stuff works. I said, I'm sure you got those pizza coupons still. Order everybody at home some pizza tonight cause mama ain't cooking when I'm getting home. And there you go, that's that. So that was yesterday. And this is actually our stack of leftovers from last night when they ordered. So yeah, I'm gonna be the cool mom, the fun mom this morning. And we are going to heat up pizza for breakfast, yay. So the reality of tonight's dinner has become how many carbs can we have in one meal? So we did a lot of reading this afternoon and we watched some movies and I decided, you know what? Hi, yes. wash your hands. We just, I decided, you know what? I, I'm not cooking, night two. So we had some of these easy Stouffer meals in the freezer as well. So lasagna, macaroni, no shame in this mama sanity game. marathon nursing my baby for half the day it seems like and now I'm starving I want to sit down I'm also I'm wearing my baby wrap but he's in his seat right now anyway let you know what I'm wrapped up with here we had some tuna leftover from yesterday I guess I'm gonna do it on an Ezekiel English muffin and then I also might force myself to have one of these yogurts again for my sharp shopper deal that is what I'm doing for lunch. Travis and the kids are outside. They've been doing all kinds of things. I think they actually just went out to the store and um, got some things, did some things there. I don't know the full list. I have been inside Saturday. Hold on here, I'm trying to find a bread knife. Will I find one? Where are you, bread knife? I don't know, I'll use a knife. Anyway, Saturday. So I'm supposed to be filming all day. I had a whole list of things I was gonna film today, and here I am, not filming all of those things. But, when I can get some more food in me, then I will get my Q&A video going, telling you my filming plans, and I'm hoping to do like before and after tour of my refrigerators and freezers. Lots of you have been asking for those for a while. Been a while, I don't think I've done those at this house before and after grocery hauls. So yeah, I was supposed to get a grocery haul order in earlier for tomorrow. Hmm, I think I can still pull it together. What time is it now? 3.30, okay, we're doing it. As always in life, I have this, this very nice whiteboard I filled out this morning. I did myself wrong because I wrote times on it. It's much better when I just have my list and don't write my time expectations. That's how I normally do it, but I'm still getting back into, you know, working on routines and such. So, hmm, if I erase the times, then I'm continuing on with my day. I can actually cross a few things off and I don't feel like I have failed. So let's go erase those times while my English muffin toast. It's like, uh, you know, when you see the memes, fixed it for you. Let's just fix this, okay. Got a few things done. So got ready, even though my hair is only slicked back. It was still half wet from my shower last night. So I was like, okay, well that decides today's hairstyle. And Again, Nurse Tobin, a whole megaton. Just finished my makeup, gonna have lunch, gonna film this Q&A and see how far I can get down on this list for today. 
So we took a good crack at filming a Q&A video. Didn't get too far with it though. So I'm just not gonna see. You just take that, take that idea, take that pressure, take that uh, thing on the to-do list and it's like, hmm, I can just set you over there. Don't even have to worry about it. What you doing now, Tobin? You waking up? You been snoozing? Talk to our friends. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Anyway, when, while Tobin was snoozing here, so I just like to get his head just right, we went outside and nothing to do with food. Super excited, like things that do make my heart happy things. My hostess are coming up. Tulips are blooming. And I thought before I open this big box of meat and we get cooking dinner, let's go look out at my flower beds. And I think that will, instead of me sitting and trying to think of all the answers to all these questions that maybe three weeks postpartum, I just don't have the answers for right now. There's some questions that were asked about gardening and stuff. Maybe those will come out, maybe not. We shall see. Let's, let's go look at what's blooming. Not super impressive grass growing. Haven't done much to the gardens this year, but there's horse manure on here. Mm -hmm. And uh, things are a coming. Just had this baby, so we will get to this garden, but <gasps> hostess is blooming. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hostess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bushes from last year. They didn't make it. Mm-hmm, that's okay. The hostess, they love me. That little grass-looking plant loves me. More hostess coming up. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then another hostess coming up. And then we're gonna get into lots of love here. The tulips, we planted these last fall. They're coming up. Mm-hmm. Oh, my little twisty tree did not make it. That's okay, cause tulips. And then down here, lots of tulips. That new little boxwood, that loves me. We got some more hostess coming up. And then we have all of these beautiful tulips. And I've got a, got a pile of rocks there. We're just going to take them on down and do a continue this flower bed. Again, in disrepair, but so much hope for spring. The dogs are saying hello. Now, I did get some ferns the other day. Super happy about that. And now we have a big pile of rocks here. But again, last fall, we started this garden and we planted, this is a base. I go in layers. So these spring bulbs are coming up. The garden is not even going, but the bulbs are here. Daniel's Crocs are there. <laughs> the rocks are here. We will make this into a big garden. Now let me answer my phone. Tobin and I just unboxed all of this glorious, glorious butcher box meat. And let me just show you everything that was in our butcher box this month. I'm gonna start with these chicken breasts. I'm gonna run some cold water over these. This is a little under three and a half pounds. I'm going to do two chicken dinners tonight. I have one pack of chicken defrosted. I'm gonna run cold water over this. And you can do chicken from frozen in the Instant Pot. I'm going to get this cooking and we are going to have this. I'm going to do two chicken dinners tonight, but it's two of my one for now, one for later. Two of the pans of the chicken dinners will be for dinner tonight and the other two pans, so really I'm doing four pans, yes, the other two pans are going to be for lunch tomorrow. So let me get some cold water running on these and I'll show you everything else I got against just enough cold water to release it from the package. But it says boneless, skinless chicken breasts, one to two boneless, skinless chicken breasts in each pouch. So we should have uh, somewhere between three to six. <laughs> And what you can also do, squat down and talk to you, you can take like a metal mixing bowl and put the cold water in there and just let it soak. That may be what I end up having to do here in a moment. But uh, 
this is what I did first without thinking, but a metal bowl uh, will allow it to release and that's the cold water defrost method. But right now I'm going to do the cold water running water on it defrost method and show you the rest of this meat I got. Okay, okay, so here we are, behaving right, found a bowl. This is also how, whenever I reference doing the cold water defrost method for freezer meals, this is all it is. You put your frozen freezer meal, especially if you're doing like a slow cooker type freezer meal or what have you, or instant pot freezer meal, you put it in a bowl of cold water and then you can switch the water out every 15 minutes or so. And already these bags are loosening up, yay. So then what else did we get? Well, we got two packs of this pork and this is 2.72 pounds and this one is two pounds. It says it's spare ribs. And then we have three packs of chicken tenderloins, which is super because there's a recipe I've been wanting to do with tenderloins. So there you go. Now I have them. Then we got a whole lot, a lot of ground beef. This looks like six pounds total. Then we have a pack of boneless pork loin chops. Yay. Then there was, I believe there's some stew meat and then also some steaks. Yes, grass-fed beef sirloin tips. There's one pack. I believe this is the other. Yay. And then we have four. Let me read my label. Yes, four grass-fed beef ribeye steaks. And those will be put to use as well. love butcher boxes flexibility there are lots of box options and the deliverancy frequency it can just fit your needs you can also cancel at any time with no penalty butcher box has 100 percent grass-fed and pasture-raised beef their pork is also humanely raised and back with the box choices and deliverancy frequency, they offer five boxes. There's four curated box options, and then there's also a popular custom box. So you get to enjoy high quality meat that's delivered to your door, and you have more time for amazing meals with your family. So I had to hand my baby off for a minute, but I'm gonna sit down and take a break with him while our butcher box chicken is in the Instant Pot, and then we're gonna put those chicken dinners together. Be sure to click the first link in the description below so you can get your uh, great big butcher box full of meat whenever you sign up now for butcher box with that first link in the description below. You get the butcher box essential bundle where you get chicken breast, pork chops, and ground beef free in your first butcher box. All right, so now I'm going to do, this is from my low carb casserole dinners and freezer meals cookbook two, the whole one for now, one for later method. I'm going to do two of my low carb chicken Parmesan casseroles. I'm gonna do two of my chicken Gordon Bleu casseroles that I have shared about. I'm going to do these all tonight, but I'm expecting that we will also finish up eating them tomorrow for dinner and we'll do a bunch of steamed broccoli and probably cucumbers, lots of green side items with those as well. Now, if you were doing these from home, you could certainly, uh, you know, fo follow the subtitle there. <laughs> we could do one for now and you would prep the other one and put it in your freezer for later but because I'm feeding, you know, a whole lot, a lot of folks and I don't want to cook dinner tomorrow. There we go. So I'm just going to do them all now. But this whole cookbook does 20 9 by 13 pans. So we've got the grocery list to do all 20. And then we also have the grocery list for 10 at a time. And then, so here's the low carb Parmesan chicken casserole. So we got 12 cups of chicken. I'm gonna get that in the bowl first. And then we have our sauce. It calls for Italian seasoning. I don't have actual Italian seasoning. I'm gonna just do like a homemade quick Italian seasoning 
Also, we're gonna do some almond flour and some shake cheese for part of our topping. I have one that's almost out that we're gonna use up. And uh, because I'm me, the recipe calls for mozzarella, but I have some Fiesta blend and I'm gonna use this up to make this dinner, yay. So this is my second largest mixing bowl. Just got all the chicken in here. Now I'm gonna do one can of marinara sauce. Okay. And then we're doing two cups of Parmesan. And we're doing two cups of shredded cheese that we're pretending is mozzarella. And we know our, uh, our measuring tool for cheese. My handful of cheese is a cup of cheese, ha ha. So there we go, two handfuls or two cups. Okay, so here is both pans of the Parmesan chicken. I'm gonna now do the cheese topping and then the top, top topping. <laughs> this is a cup of Parmesan cheese, a cup of almond flour, and then the Italian seasoning blend that I have mixed up and we will put that on the tip top. So here's our cheese sprinkled on. Okay, so these are both going to go in the oven now at 350 for about 30 minutes. Another lower carb topping that you can do, I don't know if I said torping, <laughs> topping that you can do is crushed pork rinds. If you would like to switch out the almond flour with that. And if I was going to freeze one of these, I would wrap one in foil and then label and then the plastic wrap put it in the freezer, and then later when I needed it, I would take it from the freezer the day before, put it into the refrigerator, let it defrost, and then bake it as planned later the following day for dinner. But again, I'm going to go ahead and bake both of these up tonight, and I'm gonna do another recipe because I'm cooking ahead here, yay. I got water running now for the broccoli. You know what I totally forgot to do? Just realized this as I put the first one in the oven. Totally forgot to put the other jar of marinara sauce divided between both pans. So let me do that now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Read my own directions, right? Okay, all worked out. I just dribbled it across the top there. What I got going on is I've been also working on a bunch of Trim Healthy Mama desserts just to get a whole bunch of the refrigerator for the upcoming days. So we already did two dozen of the Trimtastic cakes. We had enough to do about eight more. I went ahead and just put the first pan because they're both there for 350 and the cupcakes have to be for 350. And then I'll show you what other desserts we've been working on. These are the Trimtastic cupcakes. These are again, I shared about them in a video several weeks or months back. They're made with canned pumpkin, but the original THM recipe also has it where you can do it with grated zucchini, and then we did the icing. We also did two nine by 13 pans and you can see, mm -hmm, no one minded that. This is THM's, it's called a uh, Cinnabomb cake. And then that's a healthy low carb icing on top. So everyone's had a piece of this. And then they have this, uh, it's like, uh-huh, yeah, lot, lots of desserts coming up. So again, I have all their books, but when I started again in um, January, so it's been going on four months now, this is a new product they've had out now called Trim Healthy Starter, and it's got the basics of the plan again, plus like 50 tried and true recipes. So to help me get going again and just help take the brain work out of it and give me a good starting place. This is what I've really focused on. So I'll, sh I'll show you the other dessert we did. This is only my second time making it, but my goodness, it is so good. Okay, so here's the Cinnabomb cake. If you wanna get all fancy with the squares and dribble in the icing all beautifully, we like the shove it in our face method. And this is considered an S meal, which if you're doing THM is lower carb and healthy fats. And this is the recipe. Like I said, second time we've made it. Instead of payday candies, these are called pay off day candies. Super fantastic. There's no sugar in these. It is just lots of good stuff. Stuff. And this, the recipe makes about 16 candies and we do it times four. And I don't put them in the little, nice little neat um, spoonfuls to harden. We just do a big, we times four the recipe, do a big sheet pan full 
and then cut them into little squares. So I will show you what that looks like once we get that out of the refrigerator. But here is their beautified version of the Trimtastic chocolate cake or cupcake. I times through the recipe and do this probably once a week and they're healthy, again, sugar-free, lots of good things. And of course we're baking with lots of duck eggs right now. So two of these could be a breakfast, fine with me. Uh, or if I really need a cu chocolate cupcake, or if anyone else really needs a chocolate cupcake, these are good for you. So you'll have to look into the THM cookbooks and get these recipes and give them a go yourself. So that's my also uh, dessert prepping for the coming week. Okay, so next up for dinner tonight, dinner tomorrow, probably lunch tomorrow too, I am doing the chicken Gordon Bleu casseroles. We got the chicken we cooked ahead, we need ham, gonna do some butter and cream cheese, ground mustard, chicken broth. It calls for a block of Swiss cheese grated. Of course, I have my Fiesta blend that I am working on using up, and I do have some sliced Swiss cheese. So these are the cheeses in my uh, choose your own adventure dinner that I'm doing tonight. I'm reusing the same bowl that we used for the chicken parmesan, and I've got butter, melted butter in there. That was just two packs. 16 ounces total of cream cheese. Gonna do some ground mustard and some chicken broth as well and mix this up. And then we're pouring that over our cubed chicken and ham for our chicken cordon bleu casseroles. Okay, and now I'm just spreading the mixture over the top. So there we go, I used up the last bit of my Fiesta blend cheese and then I topped each of the chicken Gordon Bleu casseroles with some Swiss cheese. I also just got six pounds of broccoli steaming on the stove top. So these will go in next with our, uh, again, mega meal prep dinner tonight, lunch and dinner tomorrow night. We also got those cupcakes we're gonna ice and uh, Oh yeah, yum, so many good things to do it. And the chicken for these chicken cordon bleu casseroles is of course that delicious chicken from Butcher Box. Okay, so priorities. I had someone bring in our pan of the payoff day candies. I had to of course sample from the side. They're not ready yet. They need to get be in the refrigerator for sadly a few more hours, but they were so good to sample. And then here, so broccoli's done. Just added some butter in there. This is the chicken cordon bleu casserole, fantastic. Then this is the Parmesan chicken casserole where I had to cheat and sprinkle some of the, I had to cheat and pour some of the marinara sauce on the top, on top of the coating. It's okay, we'll eat it just the same. So here is how the dinner plates turned out. This is actually my dinner plate. I really like this drink, so as I've shared, these are like my treat thing besides water. And this is the chicken cordon bleu uh, casserole and a whole lot of broccoli. And we got a whole bunch of other plates. Hey there guys, I'm gonna, I'm squatting down here. I really am getting my vinegar spray. So we're gonna do a grocery pickup today. I'll do another video about that. But I wanted to take, hopefully not too long, and I've got, we've got some things in these refrigerators. Some of, let's see if I can point to it. The veggies that are over there, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna prep in this video. Um, but yeah, these refrigerators are pretty bare, need cleaned out. This is my old faithful refrigerator. We got this one. I mean, we're missing um, some two door pieces now. But Travis and I got this. This was our new refrigerator we got with our first house, like, oh, well over 20 years ago. This refrigerator just hasn't failed me. <laughs> I was trying to show you, uh, yeah, just honestly, you know, things get grubby. These refrigerators are in the garage, which doesn't affect the grubbiness per se, but it just makes it feel grubby. So we do have, uh, there's some broccoli in there and some baby carrots. We're gonna process that in doing some veggie prep here soon. And then um, I love cottage cheese cheese and I use Greek yogurt a lot in cooking and recipes and then sour cream always need that too these have long dates um, actually I think both the Greek yogurts yeah I will have to use here in the next um, two weeks but that's easy and then this I think I'm doing tacos here soon 
This is actually a little bit past the date, but it's sealed, so that should be good too. Anyway, I have cheese sticks, and these will, these will have long dates as well. And then I have some baby spinach and salad mix that I will be sure to get into the house. And then you can just see how I need some, need to go through and do some refrigerator organization. These are, um, I showed you the other day, we did a bunch of like Trim Healthy Mama baked goods to, to prep and get the week going right. So this is what we have left of that Cinnabomb cake. And then in here, so yeah, it's just obviously before grocery time, everything needs readjusted. And that's what's left of those Trimtastic cupcakes. Still have not cut the payday candies into squares, uh, but we will probably do that here in a few minutes too. Okay, so there's some stains and some crud under the glass there and stuff. So again, another day, if we take everything out and truly do hot soapy water, that will purify its soul. But this is how both refrigerators look out here in the garage before we do a pickup order. And I've got uh, the broccoli and such that wasn't here. We're gonna take in and do some prepping with that now anyway. And then I'll show you my faded refrigerator. And here's the freezer that again, like I say, works half the time or doesn't, that's above this refrigerator here. Uh, just, again, lots of bread and tortilla and tortillas and things in it. And then over here, odds and ends, we've got a tub of ice cream that's probably half full, some meat, some quick mama sanity saving pancakes from when I was sick and had the baby, those are what's left. One loaf of bread over here, not too much exciting in the door, so we've got room to put things in here. Although, with this faded fridge, you do see we have our super cool bungees, and that's because a lot of times, I'll squat down here again, so part of what my system is, is whenever I take frozen meat and I'm going to film recipes, work on recipes, do recipe development or whatever, uh, feed my family, then in this refrigerator, before we upgraded to the high class bungee system, I take the meat, a lot of times it's frozen, or uh, whenever I have freezer meals that are already done and such, a lot of times, and we'll organize this again with the drinks that are in here, I put them in here to defrost for that day or so. Well, we realized uh, one morning I came out here, the refrigerator was wide open. Cats had gotten in and they got into the meat that was defrosted. It was so sad. And that happened once, but there were a few more times that this door, it just, it doesn't stay shut well. So now we've upgraded to the bungees. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but I have my pan of that uh, wonderful payday candies that we've just been peeling off. I need to take these into the house too. Anyway, those have been setting up in there. And so in this refrigerator, a lot of times we keep drinks and these have been my go-to the last couple months. Better than soda, make me feel like I'm doing something. Just need to reorganize. And then there's some recipes that I've been doing that need the kefir. So I've got two bottles of that left. And there's like five Diet Pepsis over here in the door. That's all that's in here. I'm still gonna spray it out. So that's where I need another refrigerator with space available. Both of those will have quite a bit in it after today's grocery haul. And of course the house refrigerator are the things we're using that day. And then again, defrosting meat, drinks, recipes like those wonderful payoff day candies that just need a place to put a big sheet pan like that. So in this one, again, this this one we got, oh, let's see, half a bottle of water, we got with the house, uh, so we bought it at some point. And I have kids inside, another group of kids inside, working on some school assignments. Well, I'm out here doing this. So after this, I'm gonna go in, I will check in with them. Thanks for listening to my mama to-do list. I will check in with them, make lunch, feed them, and then it's gonna be about time to pick up the grocery haul. Oh, and we'll be doing some veggie prep. supposed to be for fresh fruits and vegetables, but we can also put the, the sugar-free yummy peanut butter candies in there. I'm 
still chewing. Gabriel's review is they taste like the inside of a Snickers this time. So, and we were saying they're a little softer. His eyes are rolling back. <laughs> they're pretty good, aren't they? You like it, Amelia? So, they're not going to be around very long anyway. Earlier, the load in the washer, for whatever reason, had never been turned on. So, hey, when that happens, but the, that's his life. So again, we didn't do the take everything out and soak it with hot bubbly water like how we've done many times in the past with fridge cleanouts, but these were just quick wipeouts. So here in this drawer, you see I got a few Granny Smith apples left and some clementines, nothing else in there. We got a few veggies in there, some cheese and butter. Empty, empty row, what is this? Broccoli left over, the peanut candy that we made. Again, just huh, the whole condiment shelf, but definitely room for our refills. is I had these uh, strawberry lemonade flavor packets. I put those in two jars. I thought I'll have one, Naomi will have one. And then I thought, oh well, I could add lemon juice to it. I could add the baobab powder to it. I could basically make it a boost juice. It tastes like strawberry lemonade. But then the baobab powder, you really gotta do that at the beginning with just a little bit of water and mix it up. So then I thought, well, I'll put it on the Vitamix. And then I thought, you know what's in the Vitamix? Let me just add some frozen strawberries, which I'm gonna give this one more spin. And it'll just be a very refreshing strawberry lemonade drink. So, yes, it does sound good. So that's me just totally backing into a delicious drink for lunch for you. Okay, so I got everyone else fed. I am now going to feed my baby while I feed myself, and I will probably put one of those triple zero yogurts right here, and that will be my snacky nursey mom lunch. Okay, so we are all set up, and now it is time for Tobin and I to film under the grocery haul. You know, I might have told you, I don't know if I said this out loud to you, but Daniel and I were talking about it. We were going to do the salmon cakes with the bones in it. He loves doing that with the cans, with the cans of salmon, and we were talking about doing that for dinner tonight. However, when I got done with this grocery haul, Sorry, I'm here doing something in a big thing of water. I should just hold still one thing at a time. Anyway, the grocery haul, the Dreamfields pasta, 
I was thinking, I'm just, I just want to do spaghetti. And I have six pounds of ground beef from the butcher box order. And so I will show you, that's what I'm here, trying to not pour the whole bowl on myself. But while I was doing some other things, I put this ground beef for the cold water defrost method because it's in packaging. That way it'll release it. I think I'm just gonna put it in a pot on the stove, cook the ground beef in that, then I'll drain it, then I'll add in the sauce and hopefully spaghetti. It always seems like it comes together quick, but it's probably no quicker than the salmon cakes. I just don't wanna do that now. So there you go, my priorities, right? So here we go. This is the cold water and the ground beef. And so now I'm gonna cut this and get these, um, this six pounds of ground beef in a pot on the stove. Oh, perfect, sweetie. I'm doing spaghetti for dinner, by the way. Oh, fun. Oh, there we go. Sometimes the packaging themselves kind of freeze together when you got a couple in there. See that extra ice? But that's okay. The um, the ground beef is a lot looser. Just so I can get it out of the packs. That's all we need. And I did. Amelia just asked if I was okay. I was like, yes, I knew I'd get cold water all over myself. And I did, but that's okay. We're having spaghetti. We're having spaghetti. And then I have these. Um, I had added some seasoning blend to our grocery pickup order. It's one of those things. You know I love to chop. But also if I have these bags, I'll use them. And they cost like, I don't know, 88 cents, ha ha, a dollar, something. Not much at all. And we'll use them in our spaghetti tonight. I got two packs in there. And again, I will cook the ground beef. I'm just doing it in this pot because I feel like I can babysit it a little less. Uh, if I would have thought of this, if I would have got a hankering for spaghetti earlier in the day, or if it would have been my plan from the morning, I would have just put the meat in the slow cooker. Of course, you can also put it in the pressure cooker. But you can also just put it in the pot. I'll probably add about a cup of water in here. Okay, so there we go. We got, so we got six pounds of our grass-fed and grass-finished butcher box ground beef. I'm gonna let that get going and do some more stuff to it, yay. So I have the Dreamfields pasta that I was gonna do with our spaghetti dinner tonight, but I also have this spaghetti squash that needs used up. And so I'm going to cut a bunch of holes in it and get it in the Instant Pot. It's for about 15 minutes or so. It'll be fantastic. So that'll be another spaghetti option. Actually, this has been sitting in my baskets. It's a little dusty, so I'm gonna wash it off. Now, when I've done spaghetti squash before in the Instant Pot, um, I've done multiple at a time. I only have one right now. So if I'm doing like two or three spaghetti squashes, I will then quarter, I will then slice them in half and get the seeds out. But if it's just one, I can pierce it a bunch of times and then put it in. So, so that's what we're doing. Let's see, come on sticker. It's also time for me to sit and feed my baby again. So I thought, well, this will be good. Let me go ahead and get this in the Instant Pot. Okay, so this is all we need. I got my little pierced parts in there and then I got a cup of water, so we'll get this going in the Instant Pot. Voila, we're on pressure cook, we got 15 minutes. It's got, um, sorry, I got that fan going. I don't have to do much back here. You know, in the old ones, you used to have to set that to pressure. Um, I do have some dust on it though already. Aha, uh -huh. anyway, there we go. I'll show you on this tag. Let me get my camera to focus. Um, steam release is automatically set to the ceiling position when the lid is closed. So we got the ceiling position and then we have the venting position. So those can be changed. So just saying, you know, it's like five seconds difference now. Okay, and so, and then even here it says, the quick release button will automatically reset to ceiling position when the lead, lid is closed. So, okay, there we go, yay. Yay, Instant Pot. Yeah. 
here's my overflowing plate. We got a lot of spaghetti squash under there and our sauce and broccoli and another yummy drink I made. There's the spaghetti sauce and megaton, I'm sorry, spaghetti squash. Megaton of spaghetti sauce in that Ikea pot. And the Dreamfields pasta is in here. Good morning. We are getting our day rolling here and I am doing, I'm gonna do fried eggs this morning. And I'm also doing some squash and zucchini to go along with my eggs. And then for dinner tonight, so we have all that spaghetti we made last night. Thinking of using the sauce. And then these are hearts of palm lasagna. Yes, I'm working on it, honey. I'm just asking for peanut butter sandwich. But no, 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 we are. We're doing eggs now. But when my mom is here every morning, they start their morning with, what does grandmother make you? What, listen. What does grandmother make you every morning when she's here? A peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay. Anyway, I want to use these to make lasagna. I, I want to do that tonight. So I have, of course, a whole bunch of sauce. And uh, I, just, I just want to go for it. Yay. And I've got several baskets of eggs to process. But I washed these eggs this morning so we can have fried eggs for breakfast. Here is my breakfast this morning. I saw in a picture in a THM book, they did like a hash. It's zucchini, squash, and butter, three eggs, but then they did some hot sauce on it. And I really like hot sauce, so I'm giving that a try today. And then we did strawberry smoothies for everybody and everybody else has fried eggs and toast. Okay, so we've had a busy day. I've got various, you know, baby spit and mom life stuff on me. I'm going to drain these. It's a... Uh, it's hearts of palm lasagna sheets and apparently we rinse them drain them for the lasagna sheets prepare the lasagna bake it and enjoy so that's what i'm doing i will have a recipe and there's benjamin calling me too i will have a recipe up on the blog but it's not going to be in time for this video but i will write the recipe out for you guys down in the description below in the meantime and at some point when we get the photography done get the recipe done officially up over on the blog i will have that link down there too Okay, so weather is beautiful outside. Lots of projects going on. Got a stump grinder going on, not me. Um, them, that big man out there, yes. Six foot six man of a man. They're stump grinding. Anyway, lots of kids keep coming in and out of the house as well, but I'm still gonna try to get this lasagna in the oven. So I've got two containers of cottage cheese. Benjamin's here playing with the Matthew C blocks. I think I'm gonna use the duck eggs in them because I just really like using my duck eggs right now. And then we're gonna layer this lasagna like lasagna and it should be good and we will eat at the end. <laughs> they good? Are they, whoa, well. It squirted towards my camera. I don't think it got on it though. Yay. That was an eager little duck egg. Did y'all see that? Did you feel some duck egg on you? The duck, it went squirt. It was excited to be part of this lasagna. Some, and some old natural peanut butter. Yes, mommy was gonna just give that to the chickens. Yeah, you want this is to. probably more than enough eggs, but I'm just, duck eggs are exciting. Hey. <laughs> oh, they can't see you. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Benjamin. <laughs> you having a good time? Benjamin wants to show y'all his, yeah, that's the duck you're playing with, right? There it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. People across the pond will say we like your duck, Benny. what the little sheets look like. Kind of like a noodle.
half of our noodles. And you all know, if you've been around here over the years and up over on my blog, I've done lasagnas with, we've done cabbage lasagnas, eggplant lasagnas, zucchini lasagnas, just basically anything you can throw into a lasagna. So this will be something different and hopefully super duper. And I really should uh, stop the lasagna sensibly, like where this one is before the other layer of noodles. But you know, I like to take things, I like to push things to the limit. So. Was you upset? You were. He was upset. You was upset at mama. He was upset at mama. So the lasagnas are, you're gonna eat your hand now? Huh? Okay. I don't, oh, oh, yeah, get me in the face, get me in the nose. Anyway, so we're gonna get outside in the sunshine. Well, the sun's going down almost. We're gonna get outside and just walk just a few minutes. You're gonna spit up too? Let's just do other things. I'm gonna leave the mess on the counter. We'll be okay. Gonna get a little sunshine. Then we'll come inside and sling this lasagna around. Okay, gonna burn my baby. Burn my baby. Okay, so here we go. They're both out. Dinner time, yay. And there we go, lasagna for dinner. Thank you, friends, for hanging out with me for, I think, more than a week. But you know what? We did lots of meals. We did lots of winging it. We did lots of planned things. And we did lots of planned things five days later than planned, but that still totally counts because we did them. I think I started this whole video trying to make the chicken cordon bleu casserole, and I think we just made that towards the end, but it's okay. We get, we get participation points, don't we? We did it, we did it. <laughs> Tobin's like, okay, mama, it's nighttime, it's snuggle time, let's get snuggling. But thank you all again for being so supportive and encouraging and just uh, cheerleaders for little Tobin and I as we, as we get back in the swing of things, right? And we are. We're doing it. We'll get there. And Tobin's like, why don't you let me eat your neck in the process? Don't forget to click the first link in the description below and take advantage of the wonderful essentials bundle from Butcher Box. Let me hold, hold your little head there, Tobin. The wonderful essentials bundle, bundle, bundle and bundle from Butcher Box, where you get free chicken breast, pork chops, and ground beef. That wonderful ground beef that we certainly put to good use in this video from ButcherBox, free with your first order. And that's just about it, that's about it. So Tobin's done, he has spoken, mm-hmm. You tell him I just fed you 10 minutes ago. You weren't done. It's okay, so we're gonna get this footage uploaded now and we will see you hopefully sooner than later with another brand new video. I will talk with you in the comments below. His hair is still, it's still just the best little precious newborn hair ever. Right, Tobin? We think so. So, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.